The University of KwaZulu-Natal will host an artificial intelligence symposium from Monday to Friday this week in Pietermaritzburg. The gathering will look at the impact of AI technology in libraries. Joining us to discuss this further is Dr. Nuntlantlan Ngobo. She's the Director of Library Services at the University of KZN. Doc, it's great to have you with us on the program. And it's such an important discussion, isn't it? Because I imagine that as great as innovations in AI are and as beneficial as they are, do they pose a threat to certain library services? Sorry, Michelle. Um, I lost the last part of your question. Can you repeat? So, Dr. Noble, as wonderful as innovations in AI are, do they pose a particular threat to library services? No, um, they don't pose a threat to library services. Um, rather, we look at um, a, a technological advancements um, as a complementary tool um, to the services that uh, libraries provide. Um, because there's a danger in, in looking at technology as a threat mm -hmm. um, in the sense that there will be a, a reluctance to um, uh, adapt to technology and to incorporate it into our services. But rather we look at, uh, we look at it as an opportunity um, to improve our services. That is the reason, one of the reasons why we're hosting um, this AI conference um, from tomorrow until Friday, because we've realized that uh, we really need to move with the times to adopt uh, the, the, the technology that is available so that we can better serve our users. Thanks. Yeah, and I see from uh, your media release as well, you talk about AI in terms of promoting information literacy and actually building staff mm -hmm. capacity. Yeah. Yes, um, we are using AI um, to, to promote information literacy. With information literacy, we're basically teaching our students um, how to um, critically evaluate the sources um, of, of information, uh, the information that they receive rather. And um, coupled now with information literacy, we are also teaching them AI literacy or AI fluency, where we are teaching them now um, to um, uh, critically uh, evaluate um, the AI generated content. Uh, because just because um, something is available on chat GPT or on any other um, um, AI uh, tool does not necessarily mean that it's authentic. So we are giving them the skills um, to um, critically evaluate uh, the, the, those uh, sources of information so that um, the, the, the academic integrity um, is, is, um, is maintained. Yeah. Thanks. And artificial intelligence is not just about um, reshaping the landscape that libraries operate in, right? It's all yeah. sort of information-related professions. So if, if mm. I was a librarian, um, how, how would I go from thinking that my job is under threat or my skill set is under threat to reimagining a way in which AI improves what we are able to offer? I think education plays a big role here, Michelle, um, because people um, need to be educated about um, the opportunities, um, the impact um, of technology um, so that we, we understand um, what, what the technology is for and how best we can use it in our work environments. Um, we understand that with any change, um, there is a level of anxiety um, amongst people. Uh, the same goes for, for library staff. Um, but fortunately, we are using education uh, well um, to educate our staff uh, and also for, for, for our staff to look at technology as an opportunity rather than a threat. If I can just give you an example, um, not so long ago, we, um, we introduced um, RFID technology in, in one of our libraries at the medical library, um, where we changed um, our system from barcodes to RFID tests. And um, we introduced with that um, a, a self-check machine, which um, instead of going to the person behind the desk at the library to have your books issued or returned, 
Um, you just put it in the machine. It, the machine scans your, your card, your staff card or your student card, and it, it also scans the books um, um, and issues um, a receipt. So uh, there was a level of anxiety at that time, and we used education to um, educate our staff um, that uh, the introduction of technology does not mean that people will lose jobs, but rather it's going to make our lives easier um, because the technology then takes care of uh, those what you'd call uh, mundane tasks so that our staff are better um, used uh, for professional uh, roles. So that's exactly what we did um, this, those many years ago and no one uh, lost their jobs. Instead of people losing their jobs, we uh, repurpose their skills um, so that their skills could be better utilized in professional roles. Mm. So the same um, is going to take place with, with the robots that we are going to, um, to introduce um, I mean, in one of our libraries. It's incredibly exciting, isn't it? Because um, I imagine a space in which, um, you know, the, 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 the kind of responsibilities of, of librarians in terms of um, cataloging materials, um, you know, digitizing certain things to make it more accessible online. These are all things that can be AI driven. And then, I, I don't know if you agree with that, Dr. Noble, but also, um, you know, trying to balance how we can use AI for the benefit of, of research institutions like libraries, but also trying to protect the integrity of those institutions and the font of knowledge that exists within them. Yes, Michelle, that is correct. Um, those tasks can be AI driven. However, um, in the case of UKZN Library Services, we don't want to, to introduce uh, too many technologies at once. In other words, we don't want to um, take a whole number of um, tasks and, and convert them um, to, to, to AI-driven um, uh, tasks. We are focusing on one task at, at a time, and that also that's also going to help our staff um, to um, familiarize themselves with the technology, to get used to the change before we can introduce um, another task which um, will be converted uh, to, to an AI-driven task. For example, we've decided that we're going to start with our circulation functions, those are functions that are done at our issue desks, um, the, the tasks of um, issuing and retaining library books, or, uh, renewing those books. Uh, so those are the tasks that we, we have decided um, that we are going to focus on first and foremost. Um, and until such time that uh, we are confident that our staff have um, uh, come to grips um, with the change, then uh, we will then explore, and this will be done collectively um, with, with staff, we'll then explore um, the next set of tasks that can be um, given to, to AI. Mm. Uh, Dr. Nontlantlang Ngobo, let me thank you for your time uh, this afternoon and all the best with the symposium which kicks off tomorrow until the end of the week. Dr. Ngobo is the Director of Library Services at UKZ.